Hi there. It's another lovely evening here in the UK. Hope you're all having a lovely day. Thank you to those on X for being here. Thank you for those on YouTube being here. We are here and we are open for all opinions. I think most people know my opinions from last night's one. But then again, my opinion can change. Right? I don't think it will, but it can. Um, I'm not joking. I was on TikTok. And you know how rumours are flying around? <laughs> right? This woman comes on her TikTok and does this video. <coughs> and she's going... Yeah, 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 Jay Slater's been found. I stop all these stupid rumours. When he wakes up, he'll tell the truth. I'm going, what? What? You're sitting there telling everyone to stop their stupid rumours. Right? And you're sitting there telling us that Jay has been found. I don't think so, love. Because if he had been found... I, I was seeing it earlier because I've been on YouTube. I have been on Snap, uh, what is it? TikTok. Haven't been on Twitter yet about it. I was going to, but then I noticed this time and I thought I haven't got time to check Twitter now because I've been really lazy this afternoon. I got up a bit earlier. I went out to the shops, did a little bit of shopping, come home, did a bit of charging up, and then had some lunch, and then I fell asleep on the sofa. Big mistake, because now that means, and I woke up about an hour ago, so that means I'm going to be awake now till, oh, God knows what time in the morning. Because I've just literally had, a four hour sleep. So that's me going to be up all night. Anyway, as you can tell, we're back here about Jay Slater and the search continues. And one of the things that got me as well is where are his friends he went to Tenerife with? Are they still there? Are they helping the search? Or have they come home? You know what I mean? Because don't forget, they may not have the money to stay there or to get any other flight home whenever the time is. So they may have had to come home. Anyway, we're going to have a bit of map time tonight. I did go on Google Earth, but as I said, I'm not very good on Google Earth. So, I'm going on Google Maps. And we're just going to have a look at the area. And where he was last seen. And, well, apparently spoken to. Um... If that can. I'm going to be right back. Sorry about that. Right, I think I've got the wrong area. Hold on. Right. 
Mal ce bloc. Nu am calva aia de So in time, when I pull this map, yeah, I've got the right area. So I can't do it where, you know, where you got the map and you don't have any trees on it or rope, things like that. I have to have some trees or houses or things like that so I can get my bearings. And this is where we are today. Right? Let's move myself from down there to down here. Alright. Now, this is a little village he was last seen, from what I understand. And I want to try and find if the little, if it will let me. No, it's not going to let me, is it? Oh, it is. Oh. Well, I can come on from here. <laughs> oh, God. Right, let's have a look. No, it's not going to let me go any further. Oh, this is annoying. I might have to go into Google Earth. Because I want to get... I want to get... Because Google... No. Nope. It's not letting me. So, I'll try Google Earth. That might let me go down onto the pathways. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I went to the shop today and I brought my cats there, the cat biscuits that they like. Oh my God, you think I, I had starved them all week. They'd gone one day without any cat biscuits. They had the cat food, but they hadn't had the cat biscuits. And they went one day because yesterday I was at my son's and he gave me a lift home where normally if I get caught the bus home, I'd pop it into the shop where they sell the cat biscuits. You think I had starved my two cats? Their heads went in this bowl and normally they don't share the food together. They don't. They let one eat. Because I only have the one bowl with the biscuits. Then I have two bowls with like wet food and a bowl with water. And then you normally wait for the other one to get the head out of the bowl. Oh no. Both heads cramming into this bowl today. I thought, oh my lord, what are you like? Uh, let's have a look. What does this give me? What? I want to get over to right. yeah. mm -hmm. Let's have a look. Let's just type this in. Oh, don't you? This is not going right for me tonight. Right, where is it? Yeah. Right, now let's see if I can get down and get a street view. Because that's what I'm really after, is a street view. So, that uh, okay. Is it going to give me the street view, or is it not going to give me the street view? No. No. 
just tags me back to this it's like a lookout point you can go and and it shows you overly you know what i mean it just shows you. it's not gonna let me go anywhere else Um, which is quite annoying. What the hell? What the hell? No, so I must come out there. I must just go my Google Maps that I trust better. Right, now this is the last place he was seen. This little place here. Right, and I'll see if I can pull up a picture. Picture. Uh, Alright, let's see what we got. Come on. So trying to get information and correct information it's really hard when it's being when you're in the uk and you're in another they're in another country and their police and their reporters operating a different way to how we're used to operating and uh, all the usa are used to operating and so it's just annoying i can't find the picture i want to find Right, anyway, forget that. Let's just go back to Google Maps. Now, there's rumour. No, no, it's not rumour. It's a fact. Lancashire, right? If you're from the UK, you know about Lancashire. It was where Nicola Bully went missing in a river. And the police tried to take the claim... They found Nicola Bully. No, they didn't. It was Joe Bloggs, the public. It's from someone from the public. In fact, which makes this even weirder with Nicola Bully, it was one of those psychics. Yeah. And apparently this psychic had helped find other people before in rivers. Bit strange that is, isn't it? Anyway, so this Lancashire police, who we know are full of crap, full of crap, right, want, have asked to come over there and help in the search. Now, I can understand Tenerife and their police. Look at the terrain. Look at this terrain here. Right? We've got this terrain. And it's barren, it's hilly, it's rugged, it's everything, right? Now, Lancashire police couldn't even find a woman in their own county who was in a river, right? Couldn't even find her. So how are they expected? to come to another country and look for a lad in a land on a terrain that is so rugged and harsh and everything. How are they going to find this lad when they couldn't even find one in their own county? Come on, Lancashire. Uh, 
okay? You send someone over there to be um, a spokesperson for the family with the police so they can keep them informed um, as to what is going on. But you see, from what I understand and what I've seen before with police in Tenerife and places like that, they will not, will not discuss anything of a case. Nothing. Ditto. Zero. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Until the case is closed. You won't get nothing out of the police there. You won't. You won't even get information out on where to go to the news toilets because they don't talk they will not discuss anything with the public or with the reporters they won't and the reporters know this so the reporters are literally going around with no inf- with very little information the only information they know is that this lad is from the UK 19 years old, he came for, what was it, a music festival or something, right, and on the Sunday night, he left there with two guys, got in a car, and went 30 miles out of his way to this village that's on the screen, and they they stayed at their place, and actually, I'm going to see if I can pull up anything on his Facebook page, okay? Uh, they stayed at their place, their Airbnb. Right? The next morning, he gets up and let's have a look. Let's see what they're saying on Facebook. Because as I said, I've been a bit lazy today. Um, Marissa. Look, it's even got it on here. Jay Slater has been found. This is not true. It's, It's not. Yeah. Anyway, so I've got a bit distracted then. So he's from the UK, he's 19 years old. He went missing from a music thing, left with two guys to go to this village where they're staying at Airbnb. He got up the next morning, he went outside. Um, asked about the bus. Now, there's a bit of a conflicting story. I'm hearing two stories. Hearing two stories, as one person nicely pointed out to me. Last night, I said it, he was told every 10 minutes because that's what I had heard. Right? But I, did, I also heard that it was every two hours or the next bus was in two hours or something like that. Either way, he was in a safe place, as far as we know. The Airbnb was above, I believe, uh, like a coffee shop, pub, restaurant sort of thing. He could have stayed there for another two hours. Yep, could have stayed there for another two hours and caught the bus home. So why didn't he? And plus, why didn't when he said he was walking home, the woman who saw him was the owner of or the relative of the owner of the Airbnb or something like that. She saw him walking the opposite direction to which the bus would have took him. She saw him walking like this way. Right? And I'm thinking, 
why would you walk that way? Why? Hmm. Mm, it's not going to let me. Is it going to let me? Oh, it has. It's gone round. Just let me go on the road. I don't know if this is what the place, but we'll go have a wander up here. Now, this is a place called... Oh, God, I can't think of Mascot. It's a... By a... Oh, hold on. This could be the place. Yeah, this could be the place because it's at the bus stop that now. Where's the bus stop? I know it's above a bar and restaurant. Bar and restaurant sort of thing. So it might may be in the place. Yeah. I think that was the place. Don't quote me on this. If I'm wrong, please correct me. I'm trying to find the place. But some of the places it won't let me get to because... But I believe this is it. And the Airbnb would be at the back or something. It's like at the back. The entrance is at the back way somewhere. So is that the bus stop? Because it did say from the Airbnb you can see the bus stop. Juicy Jones. Oh yeah. Search for Oh God. I'm trying uh, I'm just trying to find the place where Jay Slater stayed that night, and I think this is the place up here somewhere or behind here. It was an Airbnb, and I know they said it was above a restaurant and bar, right? And the bus stop was right there. So what I don't understand is... Why didn't you wait the two hours? If the bus was in two hours' time, why didn't you wait the two hours? Where well, we could have had water, hopefully try and get his phone charged up. Right? Or did he not have the money for the uh, bus? But then again, what else doesn't make sense is the, the, one, the owner or whoever they spoke to said that she's seeing him then. Because apparently he asked her once and then he asked her again. I'm English, Jules, Juicy Jules. I'm English, but I live in Scotland. I'd love to live in Australia, <laughs> but I don't. I'm English and I live in Scotland. Right, so if this was a place, he was last seen. Obviously, then, the place, the best way to walk, if you're going to walk home, or start walking home, is this way. Downhill. <coughs> <coughs> so, why was he seen <laughs> walking this way? Uphill. So I've got for a laugh. I'd rather walk downhill. I'd rather walk 10 miles downhill than one mile uphill. Right? It doesn't make sense. Why was he walking that way? Why did he leave at 8 o'clock? Why didn't you wait the two hours for the bus, if that was the case? By then, you don't know, perhaps by then, this place might have been opened. 10 o'clock, I don't know. Oh, God, I'm trying to get... This place may have been opened by 10 a.m. We don't know. We don't know how they work over there. Some, some open about 10, 
11 is because I know they have a uh, like a midday break because it gets too hot so it's like a siesta time I know that from when I've been over in Spain everything shuts down well it did when I was over there everything just shut down oh dear and the only places that was open was like um, an English bar an English bar where they did English meals <laughs> But yes, we've hit the jackpot. English bar, English meals. And this is telling you how long ago I was last in Spain. There wasn't no such thing as McDonald's or Burger King then. There wasn't. It may have been in the USA, but it wasn't in the UK or Europe. Anyway, so... I believe this is it because it, I remember seeing that name, Masca, on the picture. So why did he go up the hill and not down the hill this way? And why did he not, and I believe that is a bus stop because they said from the door, from here, you can see the bus stop. But why would, if the bus is going down that way, why is the bus stop over that side? Hmm. That makes sense. None of this really makes sense. Especially that bit about him going, I walking with no water. Right? Um, I'm walking the wrong way. Yeah. If the person of this place said, oh, the bus comes every two hours, that way, which you can tell by the direction of the cars, they're going downhill that way. So it doesn't, I can't understand why an intelligent lad, hmm, 19 year old UK citizen, would walk. The opposite way. Even if you was trying to, even if you had to leave that property straight away, because there was some uh, some threat or something, yeah. Would you not rather run down the hill rather than run up the hill or walk up the hill? It does not make sense. Yeah. You know, Yesterday was talking about with the search, right? Now, the search, let's go back a bit. I'm going to show you where the search is, where they're looking at the moment. Because this is apparently where his phone last pinged in the area. Right? Mm -hmm. Right, I've got to get out of here a bit because I need to pull up, come out so that I can see. Right? Now, this is where he was last seen, spoken to, round here. And you've seen heading north. Not down south, not that way. No. He has to go north. However, his phone last pinged from this area. And I'll take you into this area. And you'll see it is really rugged terrain. You've got little pathways. Right? Let's see if I can get down a bit closer so we can get a bit of better view. Of the terrain. But you see, even here, this building's here. Right? It doesn't make, there's places everywhere around here, even here. But we're not going. 
We're not going out, we can't get there, so we're going to have to go here. Yeah. Fine. Because it's not going to let us go any... No, oh, is he? No. Is this one of the little pathways? Yeah, this is one of the little pathways. Like what the uh, hikers, the, the walkers would use. There's a little house there, eh? quite little house. See if we can go further up this way. But, yeah, let's just get to there and then I can turn around. But look at the terrain. That's the terrain. Now, as I said, how on earth are uh, the Lancashire police who couldn't find a woman in a river, a woman in a river, go there and find this lag in terrain like this? They don't know the terrain. They're not used to the weather. Let's see if we can get up on this. No, it's not going to let us go up on this. Okay. Thank you very much. But, you know, thank you, it's telling me. But this is like the sort of roads you can go up there in cars, obviously. But you get a lot of people walking along these roads. Hikers and... Oh, that looks private property. So I'm not going there. Can we go again? No. Private property, okay. But I just want to show you the terrain. That's what they're working with. And that, that this is part of the area. His phone last pinged. Man. This is part of the area his phone last ping. And uh from my knowledge, his friend Lucy May hmm, said he was it was on a rugged road, so it wasn't on a popular road, so We know that road was stopped somewhere around here. Let's show you. Yeah, it stops there. So from there on, it's not tracked. They are not tracked, these roads aren't. Right, you can see they're not tracked. Right, so. But what was he doing? Oh, he got a long way in half an hour. Right? Being as he was, where was he? Where was he going on? Here. He was here. And yet, he went walking north, uphill. And his phone was last pinging. And yeah, this is a big area. You can't say, oh, it's pinging here. No, it was pinging in this area. So how the hell did his phone ping there? When he left that apartment at 8am, 8, 8 just gone 8am, and he phoned his friend Lucy May at eight thirty. She pinged his phone. Then what about eight forty-five, nine nine o'clock? He managed to get all the way up that hill, all the way up that road to an area here. It's 
it's a lot of walking. Right? So it's because it's all uphill. No, it's all uphill. But if he chose to, you know, it said he got cut by a cactus. If he chose to cut a cross, thinking, oh, I'll take a shortcut. Or I'll take this road. Oh, I'm gone. Right, you can see it on the roads. They say it's not very wide. They're not very wide. And if you're a bit, oh, I don't know, one too many and you're stumbling about, you could fall down. It's quite a wide road. I think you're going to fall before you hit that side bit. Anyway, so, he would not, unless he fell into a cactus or stumbled into a cactus. Like, right, these are big cactuses. I'm not talking your little windowsill cactuses. I'm talking big cactuses. Yeah. So, did this stumble into a cactus on here? And why on earth, if you're walking up a road, right? You're walking up this road. Why on earth would you even try and walk up a road uphill to cook time out? No, you, I'm sorry, it's not, none of this is making sense. Why would he do this? Why would he cut across? Why would he not stick to the road? Why would he go north instead of south? He's not stupid, he knows which way is which. Right. So, was he with someone though? Did he get a lift? But the woman said she saw him walking north on his own. Which I'm not saying she's lying, she isn't. I totally believe her. I don't understand why he would walk north when he needed to go south. Why he needed to go this way. The windy road. I wouldn't like to drive along these roads, I must admit. I went to south of France once. Oh my God, some of their side roads are so scary, it's unbelievable. To get to our villa that we were staying in, we either had to go up a very steep hill, and luckily, our first car we hired, the clutch got burnt out. <laughs> so we took that car back and we got an automatic. Right? That got us up the hills, no problem. But there was another route we could take to our villa. And it's more scenic. It was really, really lovely. It came through a little village where they had a little, one of these little, uh, little bowling green sort of thing and a little shop and everything. It was so cute. But from that village then to our, our villa, it was like a, a, a little narrow road, narrower than this, a lot narrower than this road. Right? With a great big drop on the passenger side. And my husband, I'm not joking at the time, I was going, can you not get over closer to the other side of the road? <laughs> because there's a big drop on my side. You know what I mean? We did, when we left the villa, the big big drop on my side as we left the villa. And as we're coming back, it was his side. So it we weren't so bad when we was coming back. But he used to go that way every time when we left the villa. I'm going, can't we just go down the hill? Straight down the hill rather than go around these cute country lanes? Because I don't like the big drop. 
But it was narrower than this. The road we was going was along a lot narrower. Right? But I wouldn't like to get this court. But this is why they have areas like this. So that if a car does, is coming, you've got space to pull over. Or say, all right, man. Let's go back a bit. No, let me go forward. Say so we've gone past it, right? And we've gone up here. Mm -hmm. uh, our car comes this way. We can stop and reverse and go to there. So that car can get past. So they do have little pull-ins on these roads, which can you, you can either pull into it or reverse into or whatever. But I don't know with this search. It's like the mother is over there and the father is over there and the brother is over there and some friends. And the mother will not go out searching. The father's been out there putting posters out. He's been to the site or near the site where his son was last seen or something, um, which we're going to go to in a minute. Right, it's been to this site where his son was last seen. It was. No, not that place. I think it was this place. No, not that place. This place here. As you can see on the map itself, it's not a big village. It's not. So why would you go that way? It doesn't make sense. Why would you go north? I think if he's gone that way, I think he's cut across this way. Just Dave, because I must admit, I think I'd be cutting across rather than going all the way around here. I'll take my chances with the cactuses. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'd be cutting across from here or even from here across. More likely from here across to there. So, but see, even if he had walked that way, say he'd gone north, yeah, and he's stuck to the road, which most sensible people would. I'm not one of those sensible. I go off road if I know, if I can see the, say I stood there, stood down, and, um, I've, I looked at my map, my phone map, and I thought, oh, darn, this is taking me all the way around here. But I can cut across from here to there. I will cut across. I will cut across. Right? So there's a place there, right? I'm going to... It's a long road, long road. It's not a short road. But it's obviously a place that is quite busy. No, let's go back. It's obviously a place, like a place that can be very busy. Is there anywhere to get a drink or anything? It shows on the map there's somewhere you could get a drink. Oh. Perhaps it's this way. But see, people come up here to pull over and just take the views in because the views would be amazing. But like I said, by the time he got there, we are going to be looking at... Right, about 9 a.m. by the time he's got here.
Yeah, there is a place you can get something to eat or drink. You can see it in the picture. So, he could have got some water from there. If he just said, look, I'm lost. I'm lost. I don't know where I am. I need to get back to this place. Can you help me? Now, I also heard today that apparently his friend, Lucy May, told him to stay where he was. She would come and pick him up. That isn't what she said. She never reported that in the first time. Because people were saying, when he phoned her, why? When he phoned her at 8.30 saying, I'm on a track road or I'm lost. I don't know where I am. Uh, I've got 1% left on my battery. Why didn't she say, stay where you are, I will come and get you? But she never mentioned that in the first, when she first spoke. She didn't say nothing like that, but apparently she's, people are saying that she turned around and said, she told him to stay where he was, but he didn't. You know, why wouldn't you stay somewhere if you knew someone was coming to get you? Unless that person was coming to get you to take you to somewhere else, which you didn't want to go to. Right? Now, there's an audio release today on TikTok, and I am trying my hardest to understand or hear what was being said. And I'd love that audio to be given to someone, and I know there's people on YouTube that could get all that sound took out, literally wipe all that background sound so you could just hear the voices sort of thing. Be very muffled, but you'd hear the voices a lot clearer. And I'd love someone on YouTube to get hold of that. Because it's on TikTok. And when it opens up for me, I will try and find it for you. But you, I can't find it again now. Come on. I'm trying to find this. Where's that flipping? I was at the right place then. I was at the right place. Yeah. No, I'm not gonna be able to find it among them. But I, if I can find it, I'll put it on up on even my community page. Perhaps someone on YouTube who knows how to clear up the noise background. I'm not that technically minded. I can just about run my laptop. You know what I mean? I can just about manage to run StreamYard and YouTube and. Simple things like that. Mm, yeah. So it's be.
Uh... No, I can't find you. Um, I can't be asked with TikTok. TikTok just annoys me sometimes. Oh, God. Right, for those who join me on X, we're talking about Jay Slater. And we're talking... Oh, no, I've just got to pull it up again. Put it back up here. About why he did... What might... What, okay, put it this way. What would make a 19-year-old... Who was, oh no, I'm going to get to it again. No, that ain't the place. Here it is. A 19 year old who was staying with two guys. Right. who had dr- driven back on a Sunday night with two guys to an Airbnb, right? They come out of the Airbnb and he asked the woman who lived there, uh, who owned this place, if there was any buses. And she said, you know, as I said before, I heard, I've heard conflicting stories now. I've heard one story saying every 10 minutes and another story saying every two hours. I don't know. I think the two hours is more likely. I think every two hours is more likely in such a rural place like that. Right, now, why did you not stay there for the two hours? Why did you not stay there and phone his friend, Lucy May, from there? And say, look, I'm up at a place called Mas- Masca, up in the hills. Ping my phone, you'll find me. I'll be waiting outside or whatever. You know what I mean? Can you come and pick me up? Because the bus is two hours away. Yeah? Or I haven't got the money for the bus. Can you come and pick me up? But he doesn't. This is an intelligent 19-year-old lad. Yep, right. This is a 19-year-old lad. He's never been abroad before in his life. Doesn't know how things work. It's not like in the UK. Right? I know our buses don't run that great, but they run more often than two hours. So when you go to another country, it's best when it's your first time. Right? It's it's confusing. It's really confusing because it's like you go up at like I don't know, it's 8, 9 in the morning, you have some breakfast, you go out for the day, and then you have lunch. But then at lunchtime, it's like siesta time for them. And everything shuts down. And you're thinking, what? What? Half the day's gone. Open the shops up. I want the shops open. But it doesn't, it shuts down. And the only things that are open... You might find some little places like this open or other pubs open, but otherwise shops and things like that tend to shut down, which is a bit annoying because I'm just, you're just in the swing because you're just going, okay, I'm awake, I'm up, I'm out shopping, and then all of a sudden, boom, you're not because the shops are closing. And then they open up again around about what? Two, three-ish. By then, I'm shattered and I want to go home. <laughs> so, <clears throat> but for a 19-year-old lad, I just don't understand why he didn't either stay here, stay here. I'm sure that lady who spoke to about the bus times would have gave him some water. Right? Or something, but I 
But I'm just looking on the Facebook pages for him. Is hi yeah. So now we are posting anything. You're all affected to the case. Who's commenting shit with this? Conspiracy theory. So sorry to the people who are concerned, but it's got too far. Well, I haven't posted anything on any of these pages. The terror is, uh, the police must collect data from this terror as it will potentially discover other active phones between 8 o'clock and 8.50. We are talking, yeah, I'm going to share this. We are talking, the King of, uh, the Spanish police or whoever they are. It's got, okay, a little update from me. I've been able, I've been able to track down some Salua oh, Towers, close to where Jay's last location was. The tower is 1.13 kilometres from his last known location. The police must collect data from this tower, as it would potentially discover any active phones between 8 o'clock and 8.50. This is critical to me. No. I'm sorry, but... Look a little Magdalene McCann when she went missing. Hmm? Police over there don't worry about missing people because they know people will still go there because of the hot weather, the beaches, the entertainment, you name it. Youngsters will still go there. What, spend all the money there. So they're not worried. They don't worry. And the last green shop below in further gang is by a restaurant, Masca. And about an hour ago, I saw on the live a person talking, w person walking where, and then went into that bush. A little while later, came out before going back in. I also noticed on the map that restaurant is, there's a bush job. This could be behind that bush that I could see where the person was walking in and out of. I think one check, yes. This area is where he was last seen, spoken to. That is where he was last spoken to, love. I still think, and I'm going to pull it up, go for me, let's see how much it breaks now. Let's just see how much it was, it was 31,900 last time I looked, that was last night, oh my lord, 34,400 again. Thirteen pounds. Oh, my Lord. This is just my opinion. Right? This is just solely my opinion. This lad was not kidnapped. He wasn't abducted. I believe he was selling D-R-U-G-S. But we've got no proof of that. Because no one is going to say, oh yeah, we was at this music festival or whatever they call it, and we were selling drugs. They're not going to say that. Right? So, I believe there was. I believe... He was short in the money, because I don't think he sold it all. I think he may have used some of it himself. Or oh, he did lose some. You don't know if he's in a rave. Right? He had, like, one of them little black bag things on him. Sort of things, he said. It's hard to say. And I think he's gone into hiding somewhere.
I made a game. You know what I mean? So. But who was the two guys who was with? Well, I've obviously spoken to them because I believe they've come home. But when would you have lost those, the DRUGS? Would you lost it off at that festival thing or did you lose it later on in the night when you went back to that place with those two guys? Did they use it up themselves, personal use, and then you realise, oh, sugar, I've got to pay for this. You know what I mean? Or, you know, something happened to him Sunday night because a woman saw him Monday. Monday morning. A woman saw him Monday morning. He asked about the bus times. So he was alive Monday morning. So nothing happened to him Sunday night. So he wasn't abducted. He wasn't. Because if you're abducted, you're not going to walk out there and say to a woman, oh, hello, uh, can you tell me when the next bus is due? I've been abducted and I need to get the bus home. You're not going to do that. Right? But possibly, I think, maybe he's used some of that drug, G-R-U-G-S, and now he's realised he's got to pay that back. And perhaps he's gone into hiding somewhere. Because we don't know what was actually said on that phone call. You don't know what I mean? Why would he go to this place where his phone... Oh, God, I'm trying to go find it again. Why would he go here? Why... Can you? someone try and explain to me why his phone would be... I believe it's over here. Yeah, over here. Why is his phone over here? Share this. At, well, at uh, 9 a.m. in the morning, that's giving him an hour to walk there, make a frantic phone call. Right, but you can see there's all little paths. There's all little paths going around here. And it won't let me go up there. No, it's not going to let me. Because Google hasn't gone along those little roads. But you can see the terrain. All right, let's see if I can get onto this road. No, it's not even going to take me on that road. So why was this phone... Oh, wow. Not phone. But why did his phone last ping from this area? Could be anywhere in here he last pinged. And that's where they're concentrating the search at the moment, because that's where his phone last pinged. So could he be hiding out somewhere here? If he is, has he got help? Does he have help getting hiding? It doesn't, it, none of it makes sense. Why would, it was probably, uh, people have reported seeing, there's been reports of him being seen at 6pm on the Monday night, near a church, I'm sitting on a bench with two other guys. So are the two are those two guys that he was with on the Sunday night? If so, they'd have a car. Right. And to be honest with you, to get from here. Right, even though the woman said she saw him walking up this way, said she saw him walking north. 
Right? To get from there... Sorry, I'm feeling, t I'm feeling really tired today. To get from there, right, for his phone to ping over here somewhere, could he met, could he start walking, right? And then these two lads who was with here, could they have got, got in the car, caught up with him and drove him up there? You know what I mean? But why would they drive him up there? Nothing's good is going to happen up here. Nothing good. I don't think. Plus, why would he be... Why would he go off the main road? Yes, I've said... I have said, if I was walking along that road, right... Uh, let's come out a bit. I can get my mouse to work. If I was walking along that road, right, and I got to about oh god, so to about here. Let's see if we can get our little man down there. Is it going to let me drop my little man in the cactuses, right? And, but look at the terrain. No, I wouldn't cut across. No, no, sorry. I'd stick to the road. <laughs> There's no way I'm climbing up there. Right? See, why? See, I, I, I forget about the terrain. And, but you can see how the road twists and turns and goes all the way up here. Right. Perhaps he thought he could be clever and cut up this way. That's probably how he's cut his leg. You know what I mean? But it, uh, I don't understand why he was walking north. And you know what? That is something we're never going to know. Unless we find him and he tells us or if something bad has come to him, some harm has come to him and they find the person involved and they tell us what happened, we're not going to know. We really aren't. So this case is just assumptions and anything else you want to throw in. You know what I mean? So, um, it it doesn't make Oh, I keep saying this, but it just does not make sense. Look at the terrain. Right? He's walking along that road. Now, that's where he's came from. Over here. Right, that's a little village he came from, and he's walking up this road. Yeah. See, there's another pulling, so you can always pull over if there's a car coming. I wouldn't want to reverse on these roads, I really would you. But then again, there's another pulling. They are quite, they're not that far between. They we're coming to another pulling, I believe. Come on. Yeah, we'll be coming to another pulling up here. All right. See, you can pull in a bit. But this road is so... Twisty. Some beautiful views though, look. As you can see from here. 
you can see the village it was in. Let's have a look over here. There's the village he was at. So why would he come this way? It, 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 none of this makes sense. Because if you're trying to get home, Juco, his last call was at 8.15. He cut his leg on a cactus by, the, by that point. So he's likely to have gone off-road at that point. Yeah. Um, that's what I'm looking at now, G Gico. Um, because, as I said, right, he left that place around about 8 o'clock, 8 a.m., 10 past 8, because the woman said she spoke to him at 8, and he asked around about 8 o'clock, and he asked what time the buses came, and as I said, there's conflicting stories I've heard. I've heard every 10 minutes, and then I heard every two hours. I I definitely think it's every two hours for a place so like this. It's, it's out, in, out in the middle of nowhere. But I'd love to go to a little village like this. I really would. I'm not one for the big cities and big towns and... The nightlife, I'm not no more. I've gone past that. I like my uh, coffee and my bedtime by 10, 10 p.m. <laughs> well, I say 11 p.m. the latest. So, I'm just trying to get down to a point where I was saying that if it was me, Right, and hang on. Call this bit up again. If you hit me, especially if I was a youngster then. Right, you're there, yeah? And you're walking along this road and you, you think, oh, you look on your maps. Oh, that's only there, right? I can cut across here, yeah? Well, I'll show you how you can not. I you would not want to cut across there. Because look, you can see how the road goes, and I can see a young person think, oh, I'll just cut this way, I'll cut across. But as I said, we're not talking small cactuses, we're talking big cactuses and rocks and Rugged land. So, so his last call was at eight fifty. I thought it was. Now this is confusing again. I've heard eight fifteen, eight thirty, and now eight fifty. His last call. I agree with you with that. The terrain looks pretty. Into my gate to climb, even when lacking in lacking inhibition. If you want young, you would fancy your chance. Yeah, you take your chances, wouldn't you? I must admit, I think if I was 19, 20, which I'm not no more, I'd go, I can do that. I'm going to cut across this way. I'm not walking all the way around these roads. Christ, I've done it before when I was younger. I'm not going to walk down that road. I can go down this gully way here, jump that fence at the end, into the other gully way. You know what I mean? I was jumping fences and everything when I was 18 and younger. So something like that wouldn't put me off. So it's just, why would you go off-road though? And why would you go north instead of south? This is what I don't understand. Why? Why would you go north instead of south? Hold on. Oh, God. 
from what this map shows you on here. Right? I'll show you on this map. It shows another road from there going up. So was he going up that road? Did he go up these steps and go up that one? See what I mean? Can you see where the blue lines have come up? And I'm thinking, would he have gone that way up? Towards Sweet Home Masca. Rather than all this. Uh, to be honest with you, I think I'd be going... You know what I mean? What's that road? Right, there's a road there. See, that looks like a main road. But what would make a young lad leave safety of a uh, Airbnb at 8am in the morning or 8.10am, whatever time it was he left? <coughs> yeah, there's definitely a road that goes up there. Let's see if I can pull up the roads. Um, let's see if I can get the roads up. Right. Now we've got the roads. Uh, Let me. No, I won't come out of that again because it don't let me do anything up there. <laughs> but what? Come on. After party, didn't want to know. The, yeah, I can understand that. He's gone to this place, right? Well, when I can find it again, right? He's gone to this place where is that any? Well, it's going to that be um, Airbnb, yeah? When walking and when starting off, I usually head the wrong direction at Cressy. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I must admit, if I, I have used Google Maps many times when I was working to find certain places, right? Because I worked out in the community, so it was like, Sometimes you could be here where there's a lot of people. Sometimes you could be in, in a very quiet area and you're trying and thinking, I don't know this area. So you go on Google Maps and you do to start heading the wrong way. But then you think, oh, don't. I'm going the wrong way. Right? So you could have turned it off to say back to the two roads and you're are confusing to me. I'm, going, I'm just trying to find it again. <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to find that place again where he was. I know it's got that there, but there's an... Uh... 
Oh. Oh, it's up here, isn't it? Yeah. Here it is. But you can see here, there's like a little road. But it heads into the middle of nowhere. It's a dead end. Right. So he's here. And he then starts going off this way. And the road is twisty turny. And the road does split. Then it goes, carries on north or goes down north. East. North, east sort of thing. Towards south. So that road would have brought him back down to Sweet Home Masca. Did he come up this road and then take these little roads here? Did he get up to here? Did he get up to this place here? Right. Did he take off one of these roads and go up here? It's hard to say. But we do know... His phone. Last pink. From this area. And it's a big area. It's a big area. And I wouldn't like to be the search party. It's like that case I was, I've was i been covering. Right? Sebastian Rogers. I still cover that. But nothing new's come out of that. Anyway. But it's like, it's big areas they're searching. So why would his phone... Be pinging from this area, somewhere around here. There's no way he managed. I don't care if you're 19, 18, 19, 20, 21. Someone, in the time it took him to walk all this road, and maybe even took a diversion off here, up to the hills, right, over into the hills this way, because there's little roads, you can't see little roads, but if you get in these g gorges here, you could get yourself lost. You could get yourself lost so easily. And if you've got very little water, the sun's beating down on you. You know what I mean? You're not going to take, it's not going to take long for the for it to get to you. It's really not. And to be honest with you, I would, if I was, if I was out there, I'd have to, I think you need to be a trained hiker. You need to know, have the right equipment with you to go hiking in these places. Right, you need the, uh, a compass, you need to know, make sure you've got enough water. You need to know, make sure you've got enough, uh, not food, but like um, energy food, right? Energy food to keep you going. And something to have in your pack bag, like um, a wrap sort of thing, so that if you do get caught out and you're lost and you've got that, like, what the, um, the put round you when you come out, like that silver blankety things, you can buy them things and they fold up very, very, very small into a bag. So you need to make sure you got all that. And I think hikers who go do these trails do. They know what they're doing. But you're 19 year old lad, you don't know what you're doing. You're in a different country. You don't know what you're doing. You may think you do, but believe me, you don't. So, as I said, what was his phone? How did his phone ping from here? How did he get up to this area? And that is where the search is at the moment, all in this area. Right. But I can understand him going with the two guys. He didn't want the party to end. You know what I mean? But. I still don't understand why he would go north and not south. Why didn't he wait the two hours? 
You know what I mean? If it, even if it meant sitting in that flipping bus stop, wait for two hours. Or just phone your friend, Lucy May, who apparently said, as Nav said, she told him to stay where he was. She was coming to pick him up. That is the first I ever heard of that, and that was sometime last night and this morning. I heard that. I thought, hold on. That's the first time I've heard that. Because I know there was people saying, when he phoned her at 8.30, which she said, why didn't she tell him to stay where he was? He, she would come and pick him up. Ping his phone and come and pick him up. And now all of a sudden, it's like, well, I told him on the phone call to stay where he was and I will come and pick him up. Ooh, I hate people who do that. I hate it. Right? They are watching these YouTube channels, these TikTokers, these X Twitters, these Instagram people. They're watching. And they're picking up on what we're picking up on. And then all of a sudden the story will change to fit in with what we've been saying. And that is annoying to me. Just tell the truth. Tell the flipping truth. Because I believe someone who was with him knows the truth. What are those two... Did those two lads who was with come home? Because apparently there was a sighting of him at 6pm on Monday night. By a church, sitting on a bench with two other guys. Looking a bit worse for wear. Um, surely by 9, 6pm Monday, he, he said he would have been a bit clearer headed. You know what I mean? Unless he'd been... But he couldn't have been drinking because he'd, there'd be reports of... Oh yeah, he was in our he was in our bar at lunchtime or we're seeing him sitting outside the bar having a few drinks with his friends. You know what I mean? There's nothing like that. So he wasn't drinking. So why was he still a bit worse for wear at six PM on Monday? So it's I don't know. I've got my views on this, my opinions on this and it's just confusing. I don't know what to say about this case. The fact that his phone pinged in that area. Right, he was last seen. Where was he last seen? Here. Right. He was last seen here because he spoke to a lady or something from there. And there's a bus stop. I don't know how their bus stops work, but obviously that's a bus stop. And I think the bus would pull over here and you just walk over to the bus or whatever. I don't know. I don't know how it works with their bus stops or their buses. I really don't. But that's where he was last seen, here. And then we're seen going up north. After he spoke to that woman twice and asked her about the buses, she said he asked her twice. He come back, he asked her once. He was five days on the last three days arriving up. Oh, no, couldn't have, couldn't have, couldn't have been thinking straight. Yeah, possibly. I find it hard to think back to my days like that. I remember when I used to go out all night. I used to go to parties where <laughs> it wasn't like the, they are today, right? But we go to house parties and we drop where we where we were standing. We would drop, right? And we just we literally go to the side of the room. And find a space just to sit or lie. And we'd sleep for about an hour or so. And then we'd wake up again and start again. 
and then me be coming home as people is going to work, work tumbling home. Yeah. So, but it's nothing like it is today. I I don't think I could have done that for days on end. I really don't. You misspent you. <laughs> yeah, never again though. I I I know. It's like right. Um. Oh. Um, it's like, what was he? My daughter, when she was younger, she used to wear short skirts. And someone said to me, well, how can you let your daughter wear short skirts? Now, I must admit, the short skirts she wore, I'm not like the short, 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 short skirts the girls wear today. They're not. Right? And I turned around and said, look, when I was her age, I was doing the same thing. I was wearing the same sort of clothes, short skirts, little short shorts, you name me. Yeah, right? Hot pants, whatever they called them then, guys. Right, we wore them. So I'm not going to sit and criticise my daughter for doing and wearing the same that I do. Because that's a bit hypocritical. Right? And... This one neighbour threw it at me one day and I literally, oh God, I think that neighbour realising, don't talk about her daughter because she'll kill you. Right, because I thought, come on, you're talking about my daughter and yet your daughter's the one sitting, who's out all, all hours of the night, you're calling the police out for her, she's coming back with grass stains all over her jeans and whatever, and you're talk, talking about my daughter. Wearing a short skirt. Sort your own family out first, love, sort of thing. Is what I sort of like told her. In a not so polite way. But yeah, we had, we had, oh yeah, we had our time. And now they're having their time, right? So I can understand these youngsters going to these raves, these parties and music festivals. I really can. Right? My daughter went to one, was it last year? Where I live, in Scotland, they had one. It was a Tide TM radio sort of thing. And it was in one of the parks by me. And she came up from where she lives with a friend. You know, she's, she's with a partner, but she, he was at home looking after her little boy. And they stayed at mine because it was walking distance from mine to this place. And, you know, I was worried sick about my daughter all the time she was out at that music festival. I really was. And, but I thought, no, my daughter's not silly. She's not stupid. She's sensible. But what I didn't like was that when those buying drinks, like, say they brought a bottle of Coke, yeah? They would... The uh, people selling it would open the bottles up, right? Or unscrew the lid, then take the lid and throw the lid in their bins and give them the bottle. I said, hold on. That means you're walking around or sitting there and you've got no lid on your bottle. Anyone could walk up, pass you and drop some in that bottle. It's so easily done. I've, you see it on all these videos about be careful when you're out drinking, right? And she said, it's all right, Mum. I had my hand over the top of my bottle. So she knew no one was going to get anything in that drink because her hand was over the top of the bottle. But I said, not only that, I said, you couldn't even put your bottle down because in case it fell over, because there was no lid on it. And it wasn't cheap. They were charging something like, what, three, four... Five pounds for a bottle. There's so many people is getting their drinks knocked over because they had no lids on. But my girl said, Guys, all right, Mama, I had my hand over the top of my bottle. Fair dues. Good girl. But you do, I, I'm not going to judge anyone for going out on, in these waves and whatever. I'm not. What I am saying is, if 
it is true what I've heard. Then I've got a feeling he might turn up in a few days. Because that was 30, this go from me was 31,900 something last night. It's gone up 3,000 and some change, right? About 3,000 is gone up overnight. So I reckon if it's true what I'm hearing, right? I give it another day or another two. And he'll turn up. Right, what's your theory, JC? Here's a theory. Went to the road north to pee, planning to come back to bus stop, but instead of going left, he went right, then started to turn back and thinking he cut across bush to get back to bus stop. Possibly. Yes. He definitely cut across somewhere because there's no way you, unless you stumbled on the road and fell into the into them cactuses, you're not going to get hit by cactuses unless you stumble. Right? There's already someone who said Jay is dead because why risk him telling it the ins and outs? Drugs cartel just want their money. They don't care about some little white kid. True. True. Sloth, 14. How's those little guinea pigs? Um, but that's what I, I thought that. I thought if he's been chucked by some car town, they won't care. I said the other day, he could turn up dead if he's took by a drug car. Noisy as ever. <laughs> Noisy as ever. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, they don't care whether that he's alive or dead. Right, as long as they get their money, that's it. And I said they could get the money and then still go, ah, oh, we got our money, bang, bang. They don't care. Because they're not going to find them. If law enforcement over there really wanted to find them, they'd find them. They don't. They don't want to find them. They've got more... It's like, have they got the resources to keep looking for these cartel people? And I think in the way society is today, with governments and whatever, I don't think they have got the resources to keep looking for the cartel. Unless unless it became like a... Um, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> I agree, <coughs> but it's just, here's a theory that went up the road north to pay, <laughs> but why go, oh, on, GK, GK, why go up the road with north, why go north to go pee? I can understand you don't stand with the wind against you, in front of you, when you go for a pay. You know what I mean? You stand with the wind behind you. <laughs> Why are you going off to go for a pee? Like, I reckon if he's alive, he's, right, and he's in hiding, which I think he is, um, but where and who would be helping him? Who would be helping him? I'm trying to find my. Who would be helping him? That's my question. There's no way he's out there on his own hiding. No way. Right? And where out there could he be hiding that the law enforcement and police have not found him yet? Because they've they've had they've got drones going out there. They've got drones. You now drones can get into this lowest, smallest sort of places you can think of. 
yeah they can pick up color a certain color i don't think he's alive the most plausible answer is he died up there disorientated to those conditions woman in calf saw him 20 minutes up the road the dogs would have found him by now though yes As I said, if he's in hiding, because he say he does owe money to some drug for G I U G S, right? Say he does, right? I have to take the fence on this. I've got my own opinions, but I'm taking the fence, right? Uh, say he does, and it's either the drug cartel have got him, which I don't think they have. Or he went into hiding, which is more likely. But who is helping him? Right? And what is this all about, this 6 p.m. sighting of him on the Monday evening with the two guys? Who are the two guys? Where was this sighting? It was by a church, apparently. But, oh, my God, have you ever been to these foreign countries, like Spain and Tenerife and things like that? Where I live, and I live in Scotland, I can point out two churches straight away with walking distance. Actually, no, sorry, repeat that. Three churches. No, no. Three or four. No, sorry, four churches walking distance where I live. Just in my one little area of where I live, there are like four churches. Right? And that's just a little area of the whole area of where I live. I've read loads of what people close to the case have said, and they all say he lost and took drugs. The big guys come to collect what's left. Find out Jay's lost, took them, they've taken him hostage. For the money to be brought up, otherwise they're all dead. Hmm... Cartel would be more, would be more, um, I'd say, of a possibility in one way because they have got places they can hide people, yeah? Where if you're doing it on your own, where are you hiding? Where could you hide? If you're hiding from the cartel, where are you going to hide? All right? So, but I still don't get that point of he left this place he left here round about between 8, 10 past 8, something like that, I'm not sure the timings are all out, I don't know what, what timing is what uh, but he left, so about 10 past 8, and we've seen, what was he, 20 minutes up the road. So 20 minutes up the road could be quite a distance up the road, right? Or it may not be. If it was me, it'd be like literally uh, just around the corner. <laughs> it, would take me tw- it would take me 20 minutes just to walk from there. I'm not joking here, because it's uphill. It'll take me 20 minutes from there to about... Oh, God. Here. Right about here. It really worked, because I'll be going... I'm dying. I need water. I need to sit down. (laughs) I literally could not do that walk no more. Right, so... For a young lad, 20 minutes could be quite a way around here. 20 minutes could be all the way up here. Could be, could even be up this end by this road here. Because we know this road twists and turns. And you can see one turn there. There's a turn in the road there. So, 20 minutes, he could have got a fair distance for his age. But me, I'd be lucky if I got around the flipping corner. 
I'll be going back to the bed. I want my bed. Give me my bed. I can't do the walk. I'm going back to the bed. But what else I don't understand, if she saw him 20 minutes away, right, walk away, surely over someone else must have seen him. Lucy is shitting herself over it too because she's involved. It's their business jobs with them are serious. Plenty of 18, 19, 20-year-olds out there this time of year, both sighting by church. I think it was as well. I think it was as well. Uh, I think that was a false sighting. I don't think he was seen by a church. I think there's a lot of people putting videos up saying, could this be Jay? Well, it's not very clear and we don't really, we can't really see. It's like that audio that was released on TikTok and we might have needed to, Needed to leave area sharpish if something happened in the apartment, like an argument. Yes, that's what I did say. I said the only reason, but why would you go north? You go south, you go downhill, you move quicker downhill than you do uphill. Well, before I come on here today, I, was, I have YouTube on. I find it more interesting than normal TV, to be honest with you. I do sometimes watch Netflix. And it come on about the two young girls in Soham. Soham that went missing and found dead. Do you know they had to ask all young girls to stop wearing the red Manchester football shirt for a while out in public because there was getting so many people phoning up saying I've seen her I've seen her she was in this place because they've, all they recognize is a young girl with blonde hair or a young girl with brown hair wearing a Manchester City uh, football shirt so they ha the police had to ask all young girls to stop wearing the Manchester City football shirt for a while because that's why all these false calls were coming in. Now, as someone just said, oh, God, my face just shut down. A sloth of 14. How many young kids have the exact, exact same hair? Exactly. Right? Nowadays, people like to... Use, you have um, trends, yeah? They have trends. And it's not just in the clothing, it's in the way they, their hair is cut, yes? So, these young lads, they, they trend. They stay with the trend. They stay with the clothing, they stay with the hair, everything. They stay with the shoes, the trainers, everything. So, there was a lot of lads like him out there with the same hair and possibly the same top but I've got to sit on the fence I've got to stay neutral you all know my opinions I think he's but no 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 even that thought my opinion is going out the window at the moment because who would be helping him if he's in hiding, and where would they hide him? We'll only know when this go from me. It's about thirty-seven thousand. In that, it's about thirty-seven, thirty-eight, maybe forty thousand. Then we'll find out probably. But if he's found wandering. Or lying in some remote desert land sort of thing. They're going to know. Who, right? Whether he's been indoors or outdoors for the last two weeks or more.
because his bug is going to be badly burnt from the sun. He's going to be badly dehydrated if he's still alive. Right? Oh my god, can you see the terrain from here? From that view? Beautiful, but I wouldn't like to get lost in there. I just noticed the terrain. See, there's like a gorge. There's like a gorge there. Right, but these are like a little private roads, little hiking roads there. But as I said, if you're hiking, you know what you need. You know the equipment you need when you go out hiking in these countries. It's not for the faint hand of hiking. She knows that place like the back of her hand. Yes, yeah, she just... And when I pulled up her Facebook page, was it last night? Someone else mentioned this after me, right? I've noticed it on a Facebook page. They said, did you notice all the places Lucy's been to in the last, what, what was it, year? And it was like, sometimes it was two places in a month or one place in a month. But every month, apart from, I think it was March, April and May. You had January, February, then there's nothing March, April or May. Then you had June, July, August, September, October. This was last year, October onwards, right? But there's nothing in March, April or May. But every month she went away, either one place or two places, every month. And one place was Amsterdam, and I know Amsterdam. Right? I know Amsterdam. One was Tenerife, where she, where we are now. She's big here. She loves this place. Place was in Jamaica, uh, all over the place. I'd like to know what work does she do. And don't jump in saying D R U G S. What work does she do if it's not that? Because she must have a good paying job or some good parents who are paying for her to travel the world every month. Someone's, I read someone say, I, like they travel. They've got a home base. They've got a home. But they travel. And they travel more than they are at home. But you must have a good job or a, some money behind you to be able to do that. Or are you a YouTuber where your travelling is your job? Because some people travel and do YouTube. And they get paid quite a bit for it. I've known, I know people who do YouTube where they're travelling in motorhomes and things like that. Or they go camping every weekend and things like this. And they've given up their day-to-day -day job, right, to do this YouTube travelling or YouTube camping or things like that. Because they can earn more money off the YouTube doing something they like rather than doing the 9 to 5 job Monday to Friday. So that says a lot. So a lot of these people who travel a lot could be YouTubers. Is she a YouTuber? Does she travel and sh film her travels? What she does, where she goes? The sights, everything, the food they eat. Because it's really, I watch one, well, there's a couple I watch, and 
I love to watch them just to see these different places and to see the types of food you can get and cook or whatever. But yeah, she does, she knows. So it could be in hiding. Right? But all we know, Lucy did pick him up. Right? And then they've gone to that area. They've made a phone call or they sent a text or something or someone phoned him and his phone pinged from that area. So, because we all know now that it wasn't him that phoned her. She was the one who phoned him. It's got it on her record. It was an outgoing call on her phone. He didn't phone her. She phoned him. And now there's a guy as well who's out there who's saying he can, if the family wants to, and if and only if he can get contact with all the uh, witnesses and everything, he has said he can find this lad in three days. I'm going, yeah, in three days? They will have um, raised the money. In three days, they will have raised that money they need. So, yeah, of course you're going to find him in three days because in three days it's going to turn up somewhere. But I'll tell you one thing, I feel sorry for his mum and dad in one way. Because if this is just um, a ploy, yeah, if he has gone into hiding himself, and this is just a big ploy to get the money that he needs to give to whoever for those D-R-U-G-S, right? Then I feel sorry for his mother and father. I really do. Because every mother and every father would say, it doesn't matter what their son has done, he's a good lad. He's my baby. You know, if my son done what he done, I'd be going, yeah, he's got a past. Yeah, he's no angel. But he's my son. He's my baby. You know what I mean? Because I'd be the one dragging him down to the feckin' police station by the scruff of his neck. Get down here, you little shit. You wanna be alive like that? Then be a man and own up to it. Right? But, um, you can't... There's ways of still being there for your child. Yeah? Without enabling him. And I just feel the mother is enabling her son behaviour, because she's the one who apparently encouraged him to come on this holiday. Now, from what I understand, he was sentenced last year, and I read up on this, and if you are on community service and you've got, uh, say, 150 hours of unpaid work to do, right, you will not be able you, well, you have to get permission off your parole officer. But you are more likely going to be told, no, you cannot leave the country unless he's done his 150 hours of unpaid work and 24 hours of whatever else he had to do. Unless he's done all that since that sentencing, he will not be able to leave the country. And I really believe that everyone who has any sentence is a criminal, he's got a criminal sentence, right? 
uh, anyone with that sort of violent past or that sort of sentence should have their anyone, anyone, doesn't matter whether it's for fraud, whatever, their passport should be removed and once they finish their parole or whatever it is they're given, then they get their passport back. Right? So, I just think she's, the mother is enabling her son, her son's behaviour. Because he's a good lad. He's a lovely lad. He's a beautiful lad. Where my idea would be, that was my son, my lad is not, okay, my lad has got a past. Not a good past, but he's got a past. But he's my son. And I've always said this, doesn't matter what my son did or does, at the end of the day, he will always, always be my son. My baby. You name it. He's mine. You cannot take that away from me. Right? But I would not stick up for him. I wouldn't say, oh, he's a good boy. Knowing what you know, oh, he's a good boy. No, he's not a good boy. He's not. He got sentenced last year for nearly killing, with seven other of his pals, for nearly killing a guy. For what? For what reason? Because they wanted to? They didn't like the look of him? So he gave the girl, one of the girls a funny look. You know what I mean? It's, it's stupid. Absolutely stupid. And I honestly believe if the judge had sentenced them and sent them down, this lad would not have been in Tenerife. He would not have been in Tenerife. Even if he only ended up doing six months, he'd still be on parole when he come out. Yeah? So, there's no way while you're on parole can you leave the country. You can't. And if you do, then you're going back to the big, big... That... Oh, what's that, what's that name, that place again? Oh, yeah. Jail. One-way ticket only. Right? So... I think we've got, this needs to be looked into. Was, had he done all his community service, had he done his 150 plus hours of unpaid work, his 25 or hours of whatever he had to do, had he done all that? Because if he hadn't, then he shouldn't have been allowed to leave the country. If he has, then his parole officer may say, yes, you can go. It's for a few days, yes, you can go. You've done everything you've been asked to by the courts, you can go. He's only completed some of his community. Oh, yeah. Well, he shouldn't have gone. His parole officer shouldn't have allowed him to go. I don't care how well behaved he's been since he's been sentenced. I really don't. He could be the model... Uh, offender where he's absolutely been on his best behave just since that incident. And if you believe that, then you just believe I've just seen three pigs fly past my window because I don't think he's been on his best behavior and his works right where he works. I think his works did the wrong thing in coming out and talking. I really do. They should have just ooh, zipped their mouths up and not said a thing. Or they could have said, well, while he's been working here working with us, he's he's always been diligent, he's always been here on time, 
We've never had no trouble out of him, blah, blah, blah. But I still don't think they should have said that. They shouldn't have said nothing. Because it's not making them look any better now. Because it's like, you're, you're defending a criminal. Okay. Okay. We know all criminals deserve a second chance. Yes, they do. Right? We know that. I say that all the time. They deserve a chance. But just because he hasn't been picked up on anything since that time doesn't mean he's been a perfect lad. It just means he hasn't been caught. And instead of going around kicking the shit out of people now and half killing them, he's possibly choosing another route in life, which is paying him big money and taking him giving him the opportunity to travel the world. Yeah. So you don't have to be a mule to do G-R-U-G-S. You can go to all these countries and be someone who sells the G-R-U-G-S at these countries. And while you're at these countries, you're having a nice little holiday, aren't you? You go to all the music festivals. Yep. Because we all know it goes on. These music festivals can try and say it doesn't. It does. It goes on every time we have anything like that. So, as I said, the GoFundMe is now at 34,413. This is where he was last seen. We still so many questions about this place. Not about the owner, not about the place itself, about why he left there at 8 a.m. And if he's left there because of trouble, why didn't he go that way? There's no way I'm going to come out running around the school and think, right, which way am I going to go? Uh, 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 I'll run up the hill. I'll run up the hill. Am I how going to go? I'll run up the hill. I'll be, fuck this, I'm down that hill. I'm out of there. I'm out of there. Bye. Boom. I'm down that hill. Right? Because it's not far. I'm going from where he was. If, say, he come running out of that hill, out of that place. Yeah? From running down here, you've got this place here, and then you've got a village here. Right? But there's no way I'll be running up a flipping hill that way, or even walking up a hill that way. It doesn't make sense. He knew where the bus stop was. He knew because he asked that woman there twice about the time of the buses. Twice. Right? He phoned his friend at 8.30, saying he's lost. So within a matter of 20 minutes, which is the time that she said she saw him again, this woman said she saw him about 20 minutes away, in that time, he was lost. Right? Because I'd say between 8 and 10 past 8, he was talking to this woman about the bus times. And then she was still on 20 minutes after the last time she spoke to him. So I put that at about, what, 20, 20 past 20, 20 past to a half past 8, which was about the time he phoned his friend. So she says. And then she reported him missing at, what, 10 past nine? Because she went up there looking. Oh, yes, I remember now. She did say she went up there looking, didn't she? But she went up there on the night time. That was it. Because she said 
it was cold when I was up there. When I was up there looking, it was cold. So it was on the night time she went up there looking, not in the daytime. So why did she wait till the night time to go up there looking? Why didn't she go up there? If I could, if that had been me with a car, and my friend from me said, I'm lost, I don't know where I am. I go, right, I'm pinging your phone. Right, I know where you are. Stay there. Do not move. Sit down. Do whatever. But do not move. I'm coming now. I'm in the car. I'm driving to you now. Right? And make sure you get that ping, those details, logged into your Google map, whatever. So that you know where you're going. I'd have been in my car. I'm driving up there and being up there. Well, it's about 20 minutes drive away, 30 minutes drive away from where they lived by car, from where they were staying on me. So she could have been there by what? If he phoned at 8 30, she could have been there by 9, 10 past 9. But oh no, at 10 past 9, she was reporting, reporting him missing. Okay. Mirador Cruz, did he get his where the trial starts? Okay. It's only 125 metres inclined to that point. Is that steep? The 125 metre incline, is that steep? <laughs> <coughs> okay. But I think she would know some places around there. She's used to that place. She goes there on a regular basis to, over the years, she does. So, I'm going to write that down. Because when I finish on here, either before I go to bed, which will probably be tonight because I'm wide awake at the moment, um, Mirador Cruise, the hill, all down. God, pain ran out of ink. Oh, God. Why can't you buy, why can we not buy any decent pens today? Not from 19 years. No, I'd say, just by looking at Google Maps, the tr hiking trail, the trails that you can go on, you need to have the, you need to have some experience of trail hiking. Yeah? You need to know the what, you know what equipment to have. Yeah? Uh, to be able to have Emergency park in case you do get stuck somewhere or injured and you need to wait for someone to, to come and get you. These people know what they're doing on these trails. Ah. Okay, then let's have a look. So, maybe I do... Well, where's my map? I'm going to type it in. Let's just make sure I'm getting this right. Mirror door. Mirror door. Just help. Mirror door. Great. Right. Oh right. Oh right. I know when you have to type that in a new That is where I take I cut across the hang today, but then when I realized on Google Maps. It was like a steep incline. No, I'm not giving that. 
all right, so the trial starts from there. So is this the trial here? Is that the trial you're wrong about? That takes you right up. Wonder where from who's bleak? Mirador, let's cruise the hill. Pardon my bad accent, so I'm working. So, yes, that does take you right up. Right, right up to here. Follow it round. It'll take you right up to there. Into that area where his phone last pinged. But, like you said, it's not full of faint heart. It's something like that. Right? I'm going to... Go down there, see if I can get my little man to go down there. So, right. Just drop him there. So, let's have a look. What does it say here? There's a path. There's a path that goes up this hill. And it's over there. It's not too bad. Don't look too bad. It's over there where his phone last pinged. Aye. Right. So let's just get off filming. So you go up that path. Yeah, it looks worse down there than it, this does. So, actually then. That isn't just over there. It isn't just over there. Because this trail takes you all the way up here. You know what I mean? It looks a lot bigger, bigger area on the map than it just said. So, I think you go over there, but then you, I think you may have another mountain to go over. Because it's hard to gauge. Right, because, look, if you go up that path, yeah, you think, oh, I'll go up here, I'm over the hill. But you're not, you've got a long path. And it's a long hike up that hill. One hell of a long hike. I would not want to be doing that. And it goes to there. I wonder if I can get my little man in there. He's going to make up my little man in there. Look. So, it could have took that trail, yeah? See, there's the road as well that you normally go along. But let's just make sure I'm going the right way. No, I just want to make sure I'm going the right way. Oh, God, what am I doing? Off. Now, that's amazed me because I can get onto this trail, right? But I can't get onto some of these other little roads. So, let's have a look. Yeah, from that view, what I just tagged here, that was the road we could see, which is the other side of that mountain. 
ya. It is so yeah, we could have been it could get yeah, because look how the cactuses here is could have been caught up on these cactuses. And it's very narrow. And if your head's not in the right place, you're going up high as well. Come on. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. You know what I mean? So, your head's not in the right place. You're going higher, so you're getting the higher you go, the thing in the air. I believe, I'm not sure. All right, let's go back to it. Where am I? Not for no, it's not, if you look at Google Maps and it, yeah. I hope it's a split, spelled it. Yes, you did. You did spell it correctly. <laughs> 25 minute walk north. Is that all? From there to over the hill, it's 25 minutes. Yeah, I'm on the pathway. Not, no, I wouldn't do it in that heat. Not now. I wouldn't even get up. So. Probably I could pick up a road. No Google car could go. No, no Google car could go up there. That is a hiker thing. But it's on Google Maps. It's on Google Maps. So obviously someone's gone up there. Uh, perhaps they've gone up with their... Mobile camera for the hikers, you know what I mean? To, so the hikers can see what where they're going as well on Google Maps. Because this is Google Maps I'm on. Yeah, that post was a bit confusing. It's not very clear. I can't get it any clearer. But where's that road gone that I'm seeing? Is it up here? Where's the path gone? See, I'm on Google Maps and I'm losing myself here now. There's one little path or road. Oh. Let's go right there. Okay. So, so it's only 25 minute walk, but that's for an experienced eye cam. If you're, if you're not in the right frame of mind, you know, well, I don't know, I've never really hung, even when I was younger, I never woke up with a hangover. Never. Even a few years ago when I literally passed out at my son's house on New Year's Eve. And then threatened to go and kick the door in upstairs of the neighbour who threatened to burn their flat with my two grandkids in. So even then, I did not have a, a, a hangover. Everyone else did. I'm the one who passed out. And the police are coming into the room, and I'm on the bed, sprawled out on the bed, and I'm going, it's all right. And I've just got my arm waving. I'm alive. I'm okay. Just leave me alone. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I've never had a hangover. But if you've been on a slash or right, you're not going to be that great, are you? So, right, let's go back down to this, this little area here, because that shows the road. But it just shows, uh, why is my map not going? 
Perhaps it won't go no further. I'm going the wrong way, probably. Yeah. So I go up to here so I can see it won't let me go any further. So I think they've gone up with the track view org. It's the trekking view org. Right, so it's obviously Google Maps. Why right, is it a track view org which upload to Google Maps? It's for trekkers. And if you look just here, you can see the shadow of the man with his little camera. Right, you can see good place to get outside if trouble was brewing. Yep. Yeah. And as we said, we know his friend Jay, Lucy May. She visits that area, Tenerife from that area, a lot. But this is Trek View Org, and you can see just there, the little head and his camera pointing up. But good place to get outside. And hold on. Hold on. Yeah, this is the other side of the mountain, yeah? I believe. I would not like to be walking this. Oh, go back here. Go back here. There's a road. So, yeah. Right. Um, all right. So that's the road. Yeah. Oh, go back up there, you stupid camera. Which on here you can see that road. So from that trek path, right, you can see that road. Did you think, oh, I can get down to that road by going down this lot through all these brambles and cactuses and everything? Perhaps he was trying to get to this village here, these, you know what I mean? Because I don't, there's only one reason you would go away from where you live or where you're staying, and that is because you're hiding from someone. Right? I don't care how pissed or smashed out your head what you was the night before. Right? You know you need to get home. So you go the direction you, you need to go to go home. You're not going to go, well, I need to get home, but I'm going to go this way instead. No, you do that if you need to get away from whatever is going to happen where you're staying. So if you don't want to go back to where you're staying, because summer is going to kick off, you're going to go out somewhere else. And I think, who thinks in a couple of days he's going to turn up in this area around here, if not here, but somewhere else. The other side of that mountain. You know what I mean? But even so, we could have gone here. You know what I mean? 
Because that's the road that goes around the mountain. So he's took the trail path. It will take him over the mountain. So it isn't as far as I'm making it out to be then. So we could walk it in, say, half an hour. It could be walking opposite direction. To Aaron Moores, thank you for being here. He could be walking opposite direction to shorten the time he waits for the bus and heads to the bus stop before the one in Masca. Hmm. I have done that. I have gone to the bus stop before my original bus stop. I have walked up to the bus stop before. Las Salas Viewpoint. Right, let's have a look. Mm -hmm. Right, so from there you can see this road. And this is the road that you go on. That takes you around that mountain, yeah. So he took the he could possibly have took that trail path. He possibly could have cut down from that trail path to this road and then again to that road. It's hard to say, but we know his phone. Somewhere in this area. Was somewhere in this area. Hmm. And as we know from there, you can see a lot of villages down here, but you can't see them on the map. I oh, know that little village is that place, isn't it, that we've seen? Oh, that was it. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, I'll go. Drop my little man there again. Let's get up here. Oh, okay, it's not going to let me. So, that's the village that we could see on this map down here. See, on the map, it looks so far away on that one part of the map. But on this map, this one, this view, it doesn't look that far. I just love the fact you can see his head with the camera. <laughs> I think if he's done that, he's over here somewhere. He's got to be over here somewhere. Put it that way, he's got to be. Because his phone last pinged from that area. Not this area specifically. But it could be over here somewhere or even the other side of this mountain here. Because it's a big area. And to be honest with you, I would not like to be the searchers out there. It could be walking up to doing. Mm. <coughs> Perhaps he's thinking he could get to the bus stop before the two hours. <coughs> but me, I'm just idle. <coughs> I've just got idle as I've got older. I would just be going, you know what? I make sure I've got my water, some ciggies. I'll sit here. I'd rather have my mug of coffee. I know it's hot weather, but give me a mug of coffee. Right? Um, or iced coffee, anything coffee. And I'd sit and wait for the bus for two hours. I'd probably have a little nap in the bus stop. <laughs> Someone, your bus is coming. <laughs> but I've done that as well. Been waiting in the bus stop with a friend to be picked up by my husband because we couldn't get we was too pissed. We was too smashed out of our heads to get home. 
And I've been sitting on curbs, road curbs, curbs of the road, as I've come out of a pub with my friend. Young people need their phone rather than wait. Hmm, yeah. No attention span. Yep. But me, I would just sit there on my phone. And... But if that girl said, stay where you are, when he phoned down. Right, so say he was here. Right where he is. Where have we got? This. Say he was somewhere in here. Right, it takes 25 minutes to walk there. But don't forget the time it takes to walk. Right? Don't forget the you got the 25 minute walk there. Right? So you've got the 25 minute walk along here, yeah? Along that check path. How long would it have took him to walk? From there, here, and it's down here, like it's twirly roads. How long would it have took him to walk to there? The woman said she saw him 20 minutes later walking north. Right? So, 20 minutes later, she saw him walking north. But, was she in a car? Or was 20 minutes later, say, she come out of a... Let's go into there. So, she come out of there like 20 minutes later and she saw him walking up there. Right? Or was she in a car when she saw him? And if so, why didn't she give him a lift? <laughs> right? It's... When I'm not able to find all the facts, the true facts, I'm going to have to try and track down all these interviews, the interviews they've done with this woman. Because I also know there was another woman, an American or something, I heard, and she said she saw him, but perhaps it was this woman that was on the band. Perhaps it was this woman that was on about because they said she saw him like 20 minutes later going the wrong direction to what he should have been going. So I think it's more like this woman. So I'm going to have to sit down, maybe tomorrow because I haven't got anything on tomorrow, and try and listen to her interviews that are out. Yeah. I can't listen to the mother. I cannot listen to the mother. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry if anyone takes friends at it, but she gives me the Karen Matthew vibes. She could be a lovely woman. I don't know. She could be. Exactly. There is a bus stop at the start of that trial. And this is what I'm saying. I don't. I don't understand his thinking. Because that's like a viewpoint. Yeah, people go there. Where's the bus stop? There's the trail. So, is this the bus stop round here? Or is this a bus stop? I think that's a bus stop, isn't it there? Chico. I don't know. It's a 19 year old lad who thinks he knows the, he knows the world, he knows everything. He's a big man. I'm the big man. I know what I'm doing. You're just old. You don't know what you're saying. You're not being here. <laughs> I may be, we may be older than you 19 year olds, but believe me, we have been in your situation. We have 
being in situations where we've been sitting on, on curbs, right, or sitting in a bus stop waiting to be picked up because we can't be asked to get home because we're, like, smashed out of our head, or just dropping wherever we are at an all-night party, dropping, bump. You drop, you sleep, you wake up, you get up, you start again. We've been there. We've done it. Lucy, I think, knows more than what she's been disclosing. Yes. Yes, I've been saying that. Some details, which is understandable, but at least we have an idea of what the search parties are looking at. Yes. <coughs> <coughs> this is what I'm saying. Lancashire Police. They couldn't even find a body in a water, in a, a river. They couldn't. So how on earth are they going to go to this place with all this, right? With terrain like this, how are they going to find a 19-year-old? They've got rough, rugged terrain, yeah? They've got the heat. Lancashire, they're used to rain. They're used to the rain and the cold. They're not used to this heat. They'd be dying after about an hour over there. Christ's sake. Pull your, pull your thinking caps on properly. Because you're no use to them. Yes, okay, send someone out there who could be um, someone for the family, a spokesperson for the family between the police, you know what I mean? So they can be the family can be kept informed, yeah? If anything is found, they can speak to that spokesperson first and the spokesperson can speak to the family, yeah? Do that. But don't search, send another search team over there. Especially people who don't know what they're doing. If you've got people who know what they're doing, then fine. Send them. But you didn't have those people before, did you? And that was only a little river. Lancashire, you've got a lot to answer to. So... They found, another, they found a different body there Saturday. Wow. But the locals will know the air. They're used to the heat. They're used to that area. You know what I mean? But sending our police over there to help in a search, no. No. Don't waste government money. Send someone over there to be like support for the family, to be the liaison between the the police there and the family. You know what I mean? Send someone like that over there. But do not send searches over there. No. No, no, no. And Lucy, it's time to fess, confess. Come on. You're not doing yourself. You're not doing Jay. You're not doing his family. You're not doing anyone any favours. How's this fundraiser going? Oh, it's still at the same. It hasn't gone any further. But it will It'll go up because we have people out there who are, well, this will pull up their heartstrings. You know what I mean? Where they think, I've got a son that age. You know what I mean? Or I had a son who disappeared in a country and no one was there to help me, but I can help this family by donating. You know what I mean? There's people out there that think like that. But that is definitely, I'd say, a bus stop there. And that's the beginning of the trial. So, and he's gone up over that mountain. All the way along, up over and down. See, when I look at the other map without all this, without the pictures like this, it looks, wow, I wouldn't want to do that. 
I still wouldn't want to do it. You know what I mean? I really wouldn't. Unless I had enough water or coffee, like my iced coffee. I don't mind drinking iced chilled coffee, but I like my coffee rather than water. But I will drink water. I drink that flavoured water. And so I will drink that sort of thing if I was doing something like that. But I need all the equipment with me as well. So I don't know. Will he be found? Will he be found alive? I don't know. If he does, then he's got a lot of explaining. You know, the police will want to know where he's been, how did he get there, who took him there, where was he kept, right? If he's, like, they will tell. If he's found alive, they will know by the state of his body, how dehydrated he is, how burnt he is, you know what I mean? How we will show all these sort of things will show how long he's been out in that weather. Yeah. But if he just turns up a bit disheveled and a uh, few knocks and bruises and cuts and uh, whatever, it's like, okay, so you've been missing this long. So where you been getting your drink? Where you been getting your food? Yeah. That's the trial there. That is definitely the trial. You know what I mean? So yes, he could have took that trial. Up there, but would he have stuck to the trail, or would he try to get up that way, go straight up, or what? You know what I mean. But if he's found alive, I hope so. I don't want anyone found unalive. I really don't. I don't care what past he had, but I don't like people make. If this is a con, if he is in hiding until this fundraiser reaches a certain amount, and we're not far from it now, four or five, six, we're about 3,000 away from me, 2,500, say 3,000 away from me. And as I said, that went up 3,000 overnight because it's 31,900 summit last night. Yeah, thirty-four thousand four hundred and thirteen, and the money isn't being touched. Uh, isn't this to help find your lag? Isn't this money there to help find your lag, so that you can be over there, right? Oh yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. The mother didn't want a go from me, but then. She backs this one. She backs this guy from me. And there's a lot wrong with that. And that um, Peter Hyatt has done another in, uh, video. I'll put his link to that video in the description at the end. So that if you want to go and watch that, you can. Uh, he's doing another video though. And he, as I said, he's very good. He knows what he's talking about. Um, but she doesn't say here what the money is for. Well, they're not using the money, are they? So what's the money for? If they're not using it for uh, flights or accommodation or food or anything like that, what's that money for? So it just makes makes me think. Yeah, the father and brother are very upset. I've seen their videos. 
The father, yeah. Is the father and mother separated? I think they are, aren't they? The father and mother are separated. I think. I don't know. I can't find anything out about that. But, um, yeah, I've seen the father and he is re and the brother are very upset. But the mother, she's just got that. Uh, I'm not saying she is, but she's got the Karen Matthew vibes, eh? And the fact that she goes, he's a good lad, he's, you know what I mean? No, he's not. Don't enable your son. He's not. Admit it. He's not. He's got a criminal record. He left a ch another lad with seven of his friends left another lad for dead. You know what I mean? That lad will live with that for the rest of his life and your son and his friends get off with a slap on the wrist. Don't, don't enable him. Don't, don't make him out to be. Yeah, it's your baby. I, I understand that. It's, is her baby. She's going to support her baby. I would do the same, but I wouldn't enable my son. If my son had done something wrong, I'd be going, yeah, my son's got a past. He's a little horror. Yep, I could kill him some days. But at the end of the day, he's my son. My son. And I want him home. You know what I mean? You don't have to stick up for him by saying, oh, but he's a good lad. He's a beautiful lad. He's, he's got everything going for him. Oh, mom, stop enabling your son. Anyway, I've been on here. Oh, my God, two hours, 55 minutes. Oh, my Lord, I've got to go. I've got to go and take my medication. My tablet tap was sleeping out. Anyway, I'd just like to say thank you for everyone being here on X and YouTube. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate you. If you're on X, show me some love. If you're on YouTube, hit that like button so we can get this video out there. Um, please think about, if you're on X, please think about coming over and subscribing to my channel on YouTube. I would really appreciate your support. Good night, J Jacob. And thank you for being here. I would really appreciate your support on anything you say or do. So thank you, and I'll see you all tomorrow night. Till then, good night.